I'm so proud of myself because I got here early. And I've been watching Celine's videos for like four years now. So I actually got um, a PR packet. We were like, this is not it because it did not look like the pictures we saw. Baywatch is actually out in the Dollar Theaters. Good morning guys, it is July 7th and it's a Friday. Not that that really changes much because I don't even know what day it is usually in the summer. But today is an exciting day because it's the day I break my jet lag or at least that's what I'm telling myself. And usually I sleep till like noon. When I went to the west coast it was like three hours back. I've been feeling like poop lately and I don't know if you guys can tell but I feel like I haven't really uploaded that much. It's summer so I should be uploading like a lot more often than I am but I'm just feeling so lazy and like tired and groggy all the time so I just don't feel like the motivation really to edit the vlogs. Like I have so many vlogs filmed and stuff but I just need to edit them now. It's just obviously easier to film than like take the time to edit because editing takes a while and especially since I stepped up my vlogging game. I don't want to put out a shitty vlog. I want it all to be good so that requires a lot more time. I'm gonna try to get back on my grind and crank out all those videos that I need to be um, editing so I might make this a one-day vlog or I might make it like a weekend in my life because I actually have plans this weekend which is really exciting I feel like I have not been doing anything this whole summer well except for like the traveling thing that was fun but other than that like in Roswell I was like what am I doing with my summer so I actually just got to crazy love which is like a new breakfast waffle coffee shop type thing I don't even know I've never eaten there but I've gone in there once to like study and it is so beautiful if you guys are in the area girl it is so aesthetically pleasing i love it so much i'm supposed to be meeting someone here at 9 a.m and it's 8 50. i'm so proud of myself because i got here early and usually i get places late a little bit <laughs> like a little bit late maybe like five minutes but i still hate myself for it because i hate being late like it feels so rushed and I don't feel good about myself this morning I was actually supposed to wake up way earlier than I did today but then of course I slept through my alarms I knew that was gonna happen but um I woke up in a good time to you know put on a face makeup and get out the door and it's my friend Jill's birthday today so we're going to the same sushi restaurant Ryan took me to and I'm like I'm fine with that girl that sushi was like so good but I'm going to go inside <laughs> So we're at Crazy Love right now and it's literally the cutest place ever. Like when I'm telling you it's cute, I am serious about it, but hey. introduce yourself. My name's Navia and I've been watching Smiley's videos for like four <laughs> years now. I'm your biggest fan. Oh my god, shut up. Here. <laughs> What'd you get? I got an ice latte and vanilla ice latte. So I got home a couple hours ago and I started editing a video that needed to be up so long ago, like maybe May or June. I literally had it filmed for so long, but I'm finally getting to edit it. Now I am with Ryan and we're gonna go swimming in my pool. I feel like I don't use my pool enough. Also, I thought my dad bought this like new floaty and I can't find it anywhere because when he had the party, he like literally put everything everywhere. So now I can't find it and he's not home, so. I'm saying. Really Today's payday. I have to go to Top Golf Watch check. Nice. Should be like eight grand. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jill. <laughs> put balloons all around her room. And I guess he helped too. Right? He didn't help. Right? He's a nuisance. <laughs> hey guys, so it is a couple hours later and I realized that I really suck at vlogging today um, But I am getting ready for my friend's birthday dinner It is Jill's birthday and we decorated her room and just like put balloons everywhere So that was really fun, but now it is time to get ready and go to dinner um, Like I said, we're going to the same sushi place um, that Ryan took me to it's called Oku and it's in Atlanta and it's really really good and it has a really cool view um, of like the skyline and stuff like that so tonight I think I'm just gonna straighten my hair because I haven't done it in a while so I kind of want to just you know see I was also just thinking sometimes I don't really love my hair straightened because it just looks so long and it looks like too long like like hippie hair or something but when I curl it I actually like it and I think it's too short when it's curled so that's why I'm kind of like too scared to cut it like even just a trim 
because I know it's gonna be even shorter when I curl it and I usually curl it or wear it natural. Also, if you guys remember, I did say that I was going to break my jet lag today. I got up at like 8 a.m. and I'm still going. It is currently like, mm -hmm, like six or five or something like that. And I just made some green tea and I think when I was making it, I like read on the package that it was like caffeine free and I was like, seriously, like, oh well. So I actually got um, a PR package from L'Occitane. I think that's how you pronounce it, L'Occitane. I literally just looked it up on YouTube, but I don't have the accent for it. Anyways, I wanna share with you guys what they gave me. Um, first of all, this has like already been in use because any face cream I just like gravitate towards because my skin is so dry and like you always need a really good base to do your makeup. So if it's really, really dry, then you need to moisturize like a couple hours before you put on makeup and make sure it's not like gonna like flake off your makeup type thing um so actually i tried this out already my face feels so moisturized like it just feels really really good not dry at all this is the shea comforting cream and it actually doesn't really have like a scent it's like you know the like regular lotion scent which is nice because if it has a scent then it could be a little bit more harmful for your skin. So like I said, this is the brand L'Occitane. Um, and okay, so this one is a hand cream. Let's open this one up. Cause these, like I always see these in like Sephora or like stores, like you always see them in like malls and stuff like that. My hands are like actually really dry and I need to start using hand cream. I don't know if this would help it, but like my cuticles, I always pick at them. So maybe this could help. And this is like a big hand cream. like. They don't mess around. <laughs> Next up, which I'm so excited to try, like I need to use it now because I don't have a bath tub in my sorority house where I'm living next year. This is the la, oh my God. I, I don't have the accent for this. Basically, it's just like a bubble bath product type thing. So it's lavender essential oil. Oh my God, that's straight up lavender. That smells really, really good. Damn, that smells like a spa or something. And the last thing is the shower oil. Let me smell this one too. It looks like it could be lemon or something like that, but I could be, oh, almond oil. Oh my God, I, I'm like actually obsessed with the scent of almond oil. That smells really, really good. I'm really excited to try this out because I'm the type of person that like is so lazy to put on moisturizer after the shower. So this product says that it's like moisturizing in the shower. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna get started on my makeup and watch a couple of vlogs while I'm at it, of course. Hey guys, it is July 10th and we are about to go to Chipotle. And Ryan forgot his coupons. He had to buy one, get one free. He forgot it. And I didn't really want to turn back, so. So she's costing me six bucks. We arrived at Dancing Goats, but we went to the wrong one. I guess we just didn't know that there was like a couple of them. We are gonna go to the cooler one because the cooler one is at Pond City Market, of course, because everything that's near Ponce is like really cool. So like I was saying, we got to the Dancing Goats, like where, where was that, Inman Park, you said? Decatur. It's close to Atlanta, but it just like, we were like, this is not it because it did not look like the pictures we saw because the pictures we saw were really, really cool. And I'm going to show you guys when we get to this one. But you know, you just, if you're going to drive all the way to Atlanta, you might as well go to the actual dancing goats. <laughs> when I got there, it looked pretty small at first. So I was like, okay, maybe it's like bigger inside. But then we got inside and it was like, just like not like what we saw in the pictures. So hopefully this one has like a lot more seating. So we arrived at Pond City Market and Ryan found this art store on the way to Dancing Goats. And they have this like really cool art gallery inside of the art store. Shout, Shout out, out to all, all my the purse. <laughs> we finally found it. We're sweating. So we 
I've been here for almost two hours now and it's getting kind of cold. I'm excited to like walk on the belt line after this and walk around to the stores and stuff in Pond City Market. There's a Sephora here too, but I know I shouldn't be going in there because I just shouldn't make bad decisions. Carries your super heavy purse. He's strong. You strong. Yeah, so we spent like three hours in that coffee shop. Two paragraphs away from finishing a chapter. I think I kicked this up. Yeah, he was like, um, just to let you guys know, we're closing in two minutes. And I was like, wow, thanks dude for the big heads up. Like two minutes <laughs> is like not that much. I'm like, dude, give me like five at least, like shit. <laughs> Look at this cool car. I feel honored to be parked next to it. Miss you guys. Smell. It's super windy, so it's about to rain a bit. I've decided I need this avocado book in my life. Like, there's so many cool avocado recipes. Fun fact, that's my favorite building right there. What's it called? Bank of America Plaza. I thought you called it the pencil building. I thought that was what no. it was oh, called. Yeah, I, no, I called it the building. Oh. I feel like I vlogged like Pond City Market a lot, but if you guys don't know or haven't seen those vlogs, Pond City, like the Beltline area, like this is like a walking trail and it has such cool like art, like these cool walls back here and then they have like tiny door house things and it's really cool. You can have it under the tunnel over there. So this is really cool. Like it says flash photography encouraged because these are like reflectors. So when you put on your flash, it like lights up. I'll insert some pictures right on the screen right now because it's really, really cool. Bye bye Beltline, bye bye Ponce. <laughs> So we decided to go to the movies. So we're gonna go to the Dollar Theater because you know that's our thing. And Baywatch is actually out in the Dollar Theater, so holla. Ryan actually already saw it without me. It was kind of heartbreaking, honestly. But it's okay because he's gonna watch it again with me. <laughs> so we just got out of the movie and Baywatch was so, so good. Ryan like warned me before we went in there that it was gonna be really, really cheesy. But mm -hmm. I, it, it kind of was cheesy, but it was funny cheesy. Like, I like that kind of cheesy, you know? It's, I don't know. It's, like the like, fire on the boat with like, like fake looking. Yeah. But I think like CGI stuff is so funny and like cool, I don't know. And like the bloopers, like the green screen, and like I love watching that kind of stuff. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend that movie. It's 11.56, so I'm going to end the vlog here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!